account Aussie, Australian Jobs Market Dented by Delta Variant. Okay, so this was actually a trade idea that was fired out yesterday. Um, yeah, and, and it got triggered, like I think a few hours later. Okay, so basically the motivation behind this trade idea is simple. It's just um, pretty much fundamentals, okay? So um, as I've already mentioned several times for the past two or three days, okay, the UK CPI data, okay, was actually very strong, right? So we actually have a nine-year high inflation level, all right, coming out from the UK, okay, that actually led to some strengthening in the pound. Now, on the other side, I think it was um, yesterday or the day before that the um, Australian Bureau um Australian Bureau Labor Statistics, okay, um, announced or released, okay, reported that the jobs market back in August was, you know, pretty bad, okay. There was, I think, some 143,000 jobs being lost, okay, in that month itself. Um, I think as expected, you know, because of the um, several of the lockdown measures being reimposed across Australia, okay, so it doesn't come as a surprise that the jobs market was affected impacted negatively as well okay so because of the um strong fundamentals coming in from the uk and the weaker fundamentals coming in from the australia okay i'm actually expecting a upwards move in the pound aussie okay so in short i'm bullish on pound aussie so um yeah that's the motivation behind it um let me just show you the chart so at the moment, okay, it's not doing very well, right? So yesterday it triggered, let me just zoom in. So it triggered at this candle and then it closes, you know, um, lower. But then I think it was like a couple of hours ago, it strengthened again and it come back down again. So um, I think it was yesterday that um, in the Traders Club Facebook, someone actually asked um, my thoughts on this trade idea, Pound Aussie. So I actually replied saying that um, at the moment, okay, I'm still bullish on this trade idea. Well, I mean, this trade idea is based on a H4 trade, H4 timeframe, right? So, I mean, my view is definitely longer than just like half a day or one day kind of, you know, duration, okay? So, um, yeah, with this fundamental backing up pound and, you know, pulling Aussie down, my view at the moment for pound Aussie is that it will still, it's likely still gonna be going upwards, okay? Um, pay attention to the Aus no, not Australian, the UK retail sales data that will be out later, I think at 1400 GMT plus eight. Okay. So um, the market expectation is for consumer spending in the UK to rise more than um, the previous month in August. Okay. So that's actually a good, um, uh, I would say a good, it will be a good booster to the UK, to the pound. Okay. If it actually turns out as expected or even better, than expected, okay? Um, nonetheless, I don't really think there's gonna be much movement, okay? Based on the economic calendar today, um, yeah, on Pound Aussie, okay? Unlikely gonna be much of a move on Pound Aussie. However, okay, next week, like what Scott mentioned earlier, okay? There's gonna be the Bank of, there's gonna be monetary policy meetings next week, okay? One of them being the Bank of England, okay? So um, it will be very interesting to hear what the, um, Bank of England Governor Bailey has to say with regards to the recent rise in inflation in the UK, right, to a nine-year high level, okay? And um, that will definitely create some um, movements in um, how I, I strongly believe so, okay? So it's probably going to be like, you know, what are they going to do on their QE tapering plans, okay? Are they going to announce or hint anything on that matter, right? And um, another thing is that on next Tuesday, yeah, I think it was, I think it's next Tuesday, the um, Reserve Bank of Australia will also be releasing the um, the most recent meeting minutes for the monetary policy meeting, all right? Um, well, if there's going to be anything coming out from the minutes, okay, it's likely going to be, you know, why the central bank actually um, decides to proceed with QE tapering, okay, um, this month, starting from this month, and actually extend it from a two-month duration to a five-month duration. Well, actually, um, we have already, uh, I've already covered this pretty much in depth previously during the um, post 
the RBA meeting. Okay, um, so it is likely that um, Governor Lowe is going to reiterate, you know, what he has mentioned during the um, one of the recent um, speech. I think it was at some, um, I think it was at, at, at a foundation or something like that, right? He actually mentioned why um, the RBA actually decides to extend the duration, okay, from November to February 2022, okay, the duration of the QE tapering. So, um, yeah, with that, fundamentally, um, I'm still a bit bearish on the Australian dollar and um, bullish on the British pound. Okay, so with that, um, I will update you guys again if um, if there's a need to make any amendments to the current trade idea for pound Aussie. Okay, so other than that, I will see you guys next week.